uh, gears a little bit here and uh, talk what's going on at Mohegan Sun Arena. The Connecticut Sun finishing up their season. Their general manager, Chris Sienko, uh, is joining us now. And uh, thanks for coming in, Chris. Thank you for having me. Yeah, it, listen, you got two more games to go. You're eliminated from the playoffs. Not exactly how you'd hoped the year went, but you said off camera a little while ago, this season kind of feels like there's something special brewing. There really is. I mean, last year we were disappointed by what happened, um, but this year there's a lot of promise. So we have a lot of youngsters on the team. They showed a lot of progress over the course of the season, mm -hmm. and I think basically we're building upon that foundation for next year. So with Cheney and Alyssa, or even Alex Bentley, or what Kelsey Bone did for us with the addition of Kenny Douglas, we're in a really good position to be better next year. We still have Chelsea Gray coming into the fold, mm -hmm. who was one of our picks in the first round last year, who's out for injury this year. You mentioned a couple of the rookies. You mentioned Cheney. Agumake, who was the number one pick overall last year. Boy, she has really lived up to the billing and everything that everyone thought she would be, hasn't she? She is an unbelievable player. She's an unbelievable person and individual. She lights up a room whenever she walks in. She's just very excited to be part of the Connecticut Sun and part of the WNBA. And I think she's a lot better than even we had anticipated. We knew what she was in college, but she's very, very strong and very, very capable, and we're very excited about what she's brought to the team. And a lot of attention has, has been given to her, and rightfully so. She's got a great personality, great talent. But Alyssa Thomas kind of snuck under the ra radar, and I get to watch her a lot this year. I, I love her game moving forward, and, and you must too as a gentleman. Uh, you know, I'll tell you what, <laughs> she's, she's another great addition to us. And you, know, you had Kayla McBride or you had Alyssa Thomas, and Alyssa Thomas is really who we hope to get. Mm -hmm. And just she is everywhere on that floor at all times. She's very quiet, and she can strike without worrying. <laughs> There's no doubt about that. Cheney has got the personality. Alyssa's a little more reserved, but they're both animals on the floor, and that's what we need. Now, you guys are so close to winning. Just a few years ago, you know, close to a championship. You were in the hunt. Uh, you had to break this thing down to rebuild it now. Where are you in the rebuilding process? You think you're, I mean, you're making strides, you think? Uh, we're making strides, there's no doubt about that. I think internally, our organization thought we could probably get into the playoffs this year. And if you look at the East, there's certainly not a lot of victories by a lot of the teams underneath Atlanta. So we've missed our opportunity, but we were so close in many, many games, and we blew leads, and we had a lot of inexperience. So while it's disappointing that we did not make the playoffs, it's not disappointing who we have as mm -hmm part of our roster, nor the direction that we're heading. So we all feel extremely positive about next year. We have about a minute and 15 left in the whole show, believe it or not. It goes like that. Right. So I want to ask you one quick question about the Sun before we move on to lacrosse, but what do you plan on doing in the upcoming draft? you got a couple of decent draft picks coming well, in. Well, we, we definitely have one in the lottery. If New York loses out, then we have another pick, their pick in the lottery. So what we'll do is we'll take the, the picks, we'll assess it, we'll see if we make some other trades or some other moves, and maybe... You know, we'll see. There's, there's a lot of options for us and a lot of time to figure that out. And when this ends, lacrosse starts. How excited is everyone up at Mohegan to have lacrosse indoor professional coming? It, it, it's great. It's a really fast-paced game. It's indoor. It's called box lacrosse. It's played in an arena. So you have glass just like a hockey rink, and they're playing off there. They're beating each other up. It's very <laughs> fast-paced. Averages about 22 goals a game. So there's a lot of scoring, a lot of action. It's a lot of fun. In about 10 seconds, you think this is going to catch on here, don't you? Yeah, your kids play, my kids play. A lot of kids play in the area. A lot of adults are involved with it. Uh, we're really excited, and we think it's going to catch on. Chris, uh, thanks for coming down. Thank it's you for having time. I, I told you the time was going to fly by. And, uh, you know, go check out the Connecticut Sun and, and check out professional lacrosse as well when it gets there. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm John Pearson. That's Chris Sienko. Thank you. Have a great night, everyone.